It has been a busy day for Portsmouth police. At least one man is dead and three others are hurt after several shootings across the city since last night. Casey Baylor brings us up to speed on the violent 24 hours. Portsmouth police say the violence started last night on Morgan Lane. A 16 year old boy is expected to survive after police say someone shot him. Investigators are now looking for this car in connection to the crime. Hours later, around 1.20 Tuesday morning, police responded to another shooting, this time near Portsmouth and Deep Creek Boulevards. Police officers learned of the shooting after investigators say 28-year-old Bernard Clack walked into a local hospital. He later died. A man who lives nearby but did not want to be identified says he heard about six shots this morning. By the scene, cops out here and I ain't know what's going on. Around 1.45 in the morning, authorities say another man walked into the hospital. He is also expected to survive. Residents say the steady violence is unsurprising, but not common to happen at their doorstep. It's my grandkids don't see watch TV, you know, and that's too close. It makes me a little bit more wary to let my kids go out to the park, and I live right down the street from a park. The increasing trend of crime has residents staying indoors. I go to work as much as I can and stay home. I try not to get in any trouble. Though some are getting ready to move somewhere much quieter. You no, know, Chesapeake or somewhere closer, um, Suffolk, something like that. Area for the kids to hang out and not worry about getting shot. So. In Portsmouth, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Well, at this hour, investigators don't believe the shootings are connected and they haven't named any suspects yet. But again, police think this car may be connected to the shooting on Moorgate Lane in Churchland. A 16 year old boy was hurt. If you recognize that car, you have any information about any of these shootings, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. And remember, you don't have to give your name.